Hi everyone, Jinu here. Hope you're all doing well and for today's video, we're going to do an unboxing and make a follow-up video on my G-Skill Trident Z RGB RAM. Let's go! So previously, uh, I did a video talking about how my G-Skill RAM broke and the things I did to fix the issue. Uh, click here if you want to uh, check that video out. So basically, one of my RAM stick died and I had to send the whole kit back to G-Skill headquarters in Taiwan for replacement. Shout out to G-Skill's RMA team for the awesome after sale service. You guys rock! The turnaround time was about one month which I think is reasonable considering that it was shipped overseas. So yeah, let's proceed with the unboxing. So this is the replacement unit that was sent to me by G-Skill. It looks brand new and it is sealed. So yeah, front side we have a window cutout so we can see the module inside. Um, we have a uh, picture preview of the Trident Z RGB with the LEDs turned on at the back. So we have a brief product description uh, by G-Skill. So yeah, you can pause the video if you want to read that. We have two small window cutouts so we can validate the model of our module and the production period so uh, it's showing here that my replacement unit was manufactured in october 2020 which which is just uh, last month so uh, this unit is very new and uh, very fresh so here we have a uh, g-skill model name um we have other uh, badges on the bottom part so so here that it's uh tested on an intel system here are the other uh, badges so basically these are motherboard specific softwares that you can use to control the rgb lighting so we have the first one it's first one is basically asus aura sync second one is asrock polychrome sync uh, third one uh, gigabytes rgb fusion and the, the last one we have uh, MSI Mystic Light Sync. So there you have it. So let's go ahead and cut the seal and take a closer look. Right, so here is the uh, our two D skill memory modules. Okay, so we actually have a free sticker here. Um, so yeah, so there you have it. This is the uh, the Trident Z shroud. So basically, one side is gonna be all black um, so here, all black and that's a aluminum metal shroud on top of the stick there is a um, it's the light diffuser so that um, there's not gonna be any hot spot or uh, so basically the light will be diffused the color of the rgb um, actually on my system so i'll just flash my system on the screen so basically i do have a trident z neo installed on my current system uh, basically, I bought that uh, brand new so that I can still use my uh, PC whilst my whilst my broken kit is out for RMA. So yeah. Uh, metal shroud, uh, brush uh, finish. Um, so this one, brush aluminum kind of like finish. Here we have the, the other side, color gray. So we have here the diffuser, uh, black shroud. Let me go ahead and install this on my system. 
and see if it will work in conjunction with the Trident Z Neo. So uh, let's check if there's gonna be like a compatibility issue um, with this uh, model with the Trident Z Neo. So Trident Z RGB, Trident Z Neo, both have like same uh, specs wise they have the same speed same um, timings same voltage and same uh, Basically same everything except that this one is RGB and that one is a Trident Z Neo and the shroud is different as well So let's go ahead and install this one system memory capacity is officially upgraded to 32 gigabytes even though I have two different Trident Z models installed uh, the Trident Z uh, Neo and the Trident Z RGB the extreme memory profile is still available in BIOS and now the system is running at DDR4 3200 megahertz with just one click basically XMP allows you to change multiple memory settings by simply selecting a different profile if you don't want to mess with memory frequencies, timings, and voltages, XMP is the way to go. I don't have complete confirmation that the system is 100% stable at its current speed or XMP profile because I only did a few real world tests like playing Valorant and Genshin Impact. And for software that requires a heavier workload, I did a little bit of 4K video editing and rendering using DaVinci Resolve and everything seems to be running okay as well. Uh, I didn't experience any crashes or BSOD. And that's it for this video. Hope you like this format. I'd like to give kudos again to G-Skill for the awesome after sales and customer service. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Stay safe and I'll see you on the next one. This is Gino. Peace.